Welcome to Art Talks Unscripted with Don Paul. Hi friends! Welcome to Art Talks Unscripted with Don Paul. Today my guest is my awesome daughter Sabra Paul. Ah, hello. Jazz hands. <laughs> uh, she is currently in art school at Ohio University and that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about art and art education and school and and you know that kind of stuff. So what do you think? Do you like art school? Um, overall I'd say it's pretty tough if but if you have um, the motivation and like determination to see it through uh, you'll definitely improve a lot as an artist. That's definitely not something that's debatable. Oh, well that's good to know. So, um, in art school, she's also, Sabra is also taking Global East Asian Studies and minoring in J Japanese. So in art school, what is your uh, favorite art class? Or what has been? She's a junior currently. Well, so in art school, you generally have to pick a certain kind of concentration, whether it's like ceramics or like painting and drawing or photography, etc. My uh, concentration is painting and drawing, but I've also taken quite a few um, printmaking classes. Overall, I would say it depends more on the teacher than the class itself. Oh, good to know. So my favorite class was last semester with a teacher who was very open to letting you do honestly whatever you wanted even if it didn't have like a deep kind of meaning behind it that sounds like a really good class for an artist because we artists we're kind of we're a little bit squirrel aren't we we like this and we like that and we like this do you well, do everyone, you find the same everyone's different yeah i have a tendency to focus on things that i like and when i can't do that i get a, i get a little less pleased with the class and the teacher mm. and there are definitely some teachers that um, prefer you do what they say or like they have a specific idea of what they want it's really uh, it really varies per, per person so so what is your current um, favorite class what what do you what classes do you have and what do you like about them well currently I only have the one printmaking class, um, but uh, my favorite class last semester was last semester painting and drawing with the teacher who was very open. Now Sabra has come home and done what she called kitchen litho yeah. with us before. Why don't you tell the, the audience a little bit about what that's like. So kish, kitchen litho is a um, spin-off I guess of like lithography which that involves like using a bunch of different chemicals on a stone and then that stone you can print on that however many times you need to. Um, kitchen litho, well in my class because this was in my prior, my first printmaking class um, we did it on aluminum plates so uh, in kitchen litho you can do it on aluminum foil and the emphasis for kitchen is that you can do it with household objects or things that are easily found in your household like soda uh, as like a acidic kind yeah. of yeah we used cola it was pretty fun <laughs> um, and you use like oil like vegetable oil and you use like wax crayons like that kind of thing and so you you just draw out your design you draw out your design with on the, the crayons aluminum foil? on the foil with um, the wax crayons. Right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then you, uh, I don't remember very clearly. It's it's, it's a little either. hazy, but I'm pretty sure <laughs> unscripted. <laughs> um, you pour the soda on it a few times. Have a brush handy so that you can wipe or um, brush around the areas that are not wax so that like the soda bubbles up a lot and like does chemical reactions with um, the wax Fun. and then you do that like three times I believe uh, and then 
After that, you take oil to it, rub it all over, and then I think you might be good to use it. The, uh, you have to keep it wet, so make sure to get like a rag or a spray bottle or something. Uh, and then whenever you, and then you use oil-based ink or paint, and then you print on paper. The paper will kind of get warped because of the water, but it turns out with pretty some pretty interesting results. So yeah, that was that was pretty fun. I recommend. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I want to point out that this is some of her latest artwork back here. Do you want to tell us about your painting? So I made this last semester in my favorite painting class um, b because, so I'm a big fan, since my second major is like global s studies focusing on East Asia and then I like art, I uh, am a big fan of anime and this was a character who in probably one of my favorite anime, uh, he is a god um, and he's, a, he's in the lowest tier so he he is forced to do um, like whatever kind of job you need for five the equivalent of five cents which is like the price you would pay at like a shrine if you prayed or something so this is in Japanese culture yeah or in the anime show well it's the, the premise of the show the anime show is based off of Japanese culture okay because it's about the gods okay um, it's Japanese kind of, gods. Yes. Okay. It's kind of because um, my watchers know I'm a Christian. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's about like gods as if they were in modern day, and they were people who dealt with like monsters. He deals with monsters, but then he'll also like find your missing cat or he'll fix oh, your that's plumbing. Handy. <laughs> He's a handyman oh, because oh, he handy. can't get he doesn't have like a lot of f followers. He's bare, he's basically just um living on the edge of existence at this point. Like he's close to uh dropping off at any point if it, everyone forgets about him. Oh, okay. But he always wanted to be um have like a big shrine and a lot of followers, so I felt like he deserved a painting like this that showed off how amazing he is because any fan of the show will probably agree that he's amazing and I um, I don't watch the anime that she likes to watch but I am overwhelmed by her artistic talent she has been Sabra has been working on art um, most of her life and she started falling in love with uh, anime and manga in about fourth grade and um, so she's just kind of following her passion. So that's it for today. I want to thank you for joining me and watching. And if you like this video, please uh, like it and share it and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day. Bye. See ya.